Dinosaurs are thawing out. Help! It's getting bad, y'all. All of my cryo dinos are getting really, really close to thawing out. Well, some of them. I mean, nine days. Honestly, sometimes I don't record for two or three days, so this is bad. This is bad news. And instead of spinning a whole bunch of hexagon, I think it's time to get some real refrigeration online. If we take a look at the refrigerator Ingram for cryopods, I think it's just called cryo. Oh, you probably have to make it in the replicator, right? I have one though. So cryo, yeah, 88. So I can make it. I'm going to need polymer, metal, electronics, and crystal. And another thing I'm going to need is a generator to power it. It says that you can just run it off of a generator. I don't think you need a tech generator. If you do, we might be in some trouble because I don't think I can actually make a tech generator. Yeah, actually, I can. Uh, but it's expensive. You know, though, uh, this stuff is, is very gettable. Uh, the metal ingots are the biggest price tag outside of the polymer. The black pearl is not too hard to get. In fact, we should probably start getting some black pearl and polymer just so that we can actually put together um, some tech stuff that we might need for it. Because we do have the replicator that we got a little while back and we can use that. But to get that, I guess we're going to go to the volcano and do that. So the easiest thing for me to get into the volcano is going to be a pteranodon, which we have one as well as a magmasaur to get the stuff. Now, I've never actually harvested metal with a magmasaur yet, so I'm not really sure how they work as far as getting element, but I want to try it out right here. So let's just go ahead and let him out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, so that did a little bit better than my Anklo would do. I, I, I'd venture to say a lot better. And the weight that this guy has is... Holy cow. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Okay, well, <laughs> with that said, all we need to do is really get into the volcano. Let me transfer this metal, and I'll meet you guys at the volcano. All right, step one, get the Pteranodon inside the volcano close to some good stuff. We have a bunch of black pearls as well as element shards that we can harvest, like right here. Or I should say uh, a little bit further in, like right here. There we go, in there. So if we land just down here, this is so easy to do, right? With a flyer, it's even easier. But if we land right here, you can see that you can harvest a bunch of black pearls. Now, in stream, when I, when I live streamed a little while back and did this, a bunch of people were saying, Z, why don't you just use a mining laser on um, the stones? They, I mean, the black pearls, they are really, really, really uh, weight reduced when you do that. But we have Builder's Helmet on here. And I haven't run across any of the the actual things that I need to get the laser yet. The, namely, namely, I could probably produce the laser, but uh, the lasers, I think that I got them just by doing missions. And I haven't done a whole lot of missions in uh, the Poop and Evolve server. It looks like it might be getting hot pretty soon. I'm hearing some rumbling. Let's just go right to the other side. I don't think you're going to be able to move, huh? Are you? No. Do you have any weight that I can give you? Not really enough. 270, I'll tell you what. We're just going to slowly move over here. Because I don't want to leave you behind and have you have to go through that lava and, and all of this stuff. I remember on some maps that I played, lava falls like that don't really hurt you. These map, oh yeah, they hurt you. Not, not super, super bad, but this isn't the tankiest thing in the world. It also isn't really fast. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> All right. On this side, you got some black pearls as well. And we should just be able to teleport out as soon as we need to. There we go. All right. Make sure I don't fly into the lava. And pick them up. Okay, good. So, yeah, the builder's helmet grants me, like, um, what is it, 2,000 weight? Yeah, 2,000 weight. Which is more than enough to transfer all of these black pearls. And you can harvest these relatively easy, right? I think there might be a couple that we missed, um, but not that bad. So now that I have all of this weight on me, uh, the easiest thing to do would just be teleport right back and forth. Um, but yeah, we got to get out of here like right now. So 
Uh, you see how it turns red like that? Yeah, we don't want to take that chance. Let's just go to Zul'jin's base. We'll give it a few minutes, come back with the Magmasaur. So just in this pile of rocks right here, with our rates, guys, the amount of metal and stone I just got is ridiculous. Like, and that's not all. I have 5,000 right now that we're looking at. That's just hit roughly 6,000. I think that's all the metal nodes here. And look at this. <laughs> oh, now we're full, but with the awesome teleporters, we just move right back and forth. Oh gosh, this is so easy. All right, let's see if I can navigate down here with the Magmasaur. Yeah, <laughs> that wasn't too hard. Nah, I don't think getting back up would be real easy, but with the cryopods and stuff, it's not really bad. And let's see what we get from these. Oh, it looks like we only get metal from these element shards like this. Okay, we're gonna have to go home and get the Anki. All right, let's see if we could just teleport right in. Is it okay? I think it is. <laughs> it looks like I had taken a little bit of damage, but I don't think I don't think it's I don't think it's anything to worry about. I'm always paranoid when I teleport straight back into it. But look at that, 86 element shards, and we've got quite a few of these nodes that we can harvest from. And in fact, I think I'm just gonna up my melee on this guy and see if it'll help any. Also, there's some more black pearls. Neat. Ooh. Anklo, don't you fall. Don't you do it, Anklo. <laughs> oh my god, that was so scary. I figured I can make it, though. <laughs> it worked, thank goodness. We have no shortage of stone, y'all, so I've been throwing it away. But, with these last remaining element shards from this little pit, I think that we're gonna have plenty of element to do everything that we need to do. Let's just go ahead and finish these. I'm getting about a hundred per short. Well, between 80 and a hundred per short. It's not that bad. And it's about to erupt now. Okay, time to go, time to go, time to go. Let's go, Anki. Let's go, baby. <laughs> we made it though. We made it and with, oh my gosh, that's pretty darn good. Almost 3,500 shorts. So, <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Let me just transfer all of this. Uh-huh. We'll put it, I don't know, let's put it in the smithy. Because we have already have a, a few projects going. And up here, we can go and, let's put this away before we start transferring stuff we don't want to. We can go ahead and put the element up here. And we can't turn it on without one element. That's the bad thing. Uh, but we can craft element, I believe. I'm guessing the easiest way to do this would actually just be to use to HLNA to strange. grab it. And it costs 2,000 to convert she into one. But with all of this stuff, we go ahead and take this. Now we can power it. And now we can craft like 33 element, which is pretty darn good. And if we look into the cryo fridge, we can make that as well. We just need some electronics and some polymer. Now the polymer... Uh, we could probably make it with the obsidian. If not, we'll have to go grab some obsidian, actually. So let's see if we can put the polymer together. All right, 60 polymer shouldn't be a problem. That's done. Now we're going to need some electronics. We're actually going to need a generator now, too. One of the junction boxes and a cable. Perfect. Now all of this stuff should go down relatively easy. So let's set up the Jenny. I don't know, we'll set it up right here. Cool. We'll put the cable and the box right there. And now we should be able to put the refrigerator somewhere too, as soon as we end up making it. Do we have enough stuff to make it right now without crafting any more electronics? Let's see. Cryo... We sure do. And let's hope that it's actually powered with the regular generator. Okay, we'll put the cryo fridge here. It says it's unpowered. Let's put some gas in this puppy. Turn it on. Cryo fridge is on. And nine days. And it's charging. We got it, babe. We got it. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, boys and girls. That's good stuff. So... Now, our dinos are actually saved. Now, granted, we could do the old-fashioned thing, guys, and put all of the dinos out with feeding troughs and stuff like that, but this is Genesis. We going technical, right? 
<laughs> we're technical and we've got all of this nice technology to use now thanks to some good old s plus <laughs> and um and a little bit of ingenuity so yeah i'm gonna let all my guys charge up and we're we're pretty good to go now that we have a generator online we could probably do i don't know man uh, you know i was thinking about moving away from this place but honestly with a little bit of upgrades like for metal and stuff it shouldn't be that that bad let's go ahead and turn this off and i was thinking about maybe just making a big metal roof over this thing now i know what you guys are thinking why not a force shield generator listen we have 35 element in the dead gum thing that's a lot of grinding for something that's way too sophisticated for what we need right now we just built a generator today slow down guys we're gonna we're gonna end up getting into some of that but i hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did give me some dap on that like button to show you support you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos thanks so much for watching as always this is old in signing off and we'll see you next time Thank you.